Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. So uh, I am here to continue my discussion on uh, partnership dissolution. So this will be the part three. So I can upload it on your on YouTube for your reference. No, okay. So let's go back uh, with our uh, problem. So I believe we have finished our problem uh, number. Where are we? I think we're done with uh, problem three, right? So problem three, again, it's um, problem three. Problem three. Okay, problem three. We're done with problem three. We're in. This is an admission by investment of assets. Now let's, before we move on on the next problem, which is problem 10, uh, I'm going to discuss, now let's go back on the discussion on page 3-9. So we still have withdrawal and retirement, no? Uh, two reasons pa, or uh, three, three pala. So we have number one is, um, it's withdrawal or retirement or possible na nagkaroon ng death, no? Yung death of a partner. And last will be the incorporation of a partnership. So before we move on the problems, I just want to give a little discussion on this matter. Actually, halos pareho lang din naman dun sa nauna, no? yung purchase, tsaka sa admission. Pero yun nga, um, depende lang din ito no? kung, kung, kung sino yung bumili, okay? kung sino yung nag-retire. Okay, kung saan ibinenta, pwede kasi sa insider, pwede sa outsider. Okay, so as a continuation on 3-9, uh, this is the third no? third cause of the solution. Okay, uh, we're done with the first two. So withdrawal or retirement of a partner. So when we say withdrawal, so ayun nga, ayaw na niya. So technically, so uh, possible na... Uh, is already at age or whatever reason, no? a, part a partner may withdraw or retire from the partnership. Uh, pwedeng old age, pwedeng another career, etc., etc. So this type of dissolution may be accomplished by the following ways. One is by selling his equity interest to one or more of the remaining partners. So pwede niyang ibenta dun sa remaining partners. Or by selling his equity interest to an outsider. So kapag ka-outsider, so parang babalik lang din tayo doon sa first discussion natin or doon sa first cause which is the purchase of interest. So it's only a, a transfer, no? Or by selling his equity to the partnership. So meaning to say, wala nang i-admit na uh, another partner so, o another outsider, no? So sila-sila na lang. Okay. So let's move on the illustration on page 3-10. Okay. Um, suppose Remedios Palaganas is retiring in mid-year from the partnership of Almazan, Saklot, and Palaganas because of family relocation. Physical distance will prevent, so sinabi lang, makunento lang, no? Physical distance will prevent her from coping with the daily rigors of their fashion and beauty consulting business after the books have been adjusted for semi-annual profits but for before revaluation their capital balances are as follows okay so that's it almazan 540 saklot 430 palaganas 210 an independent appraiser devalued their cosmetics inventory to 380 it's a decrease of 60,000 and their land to 1 million 10, an increase of 460. The profit and loss of the partners is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Okay, nang ginawa na actually natin to kanina no, sa problem 2, I think, yung may revaluation tayo. Yung kay oh, problem 1. Saan ba yung may ginawa tayo kanina, right? Hindi ko na maalala. O problem 3. Yeah, this problem 3. No? Yan yung kanina. Okay? So, my revaluation. So, it's just the same as here. So, the entries to record the revaluation of assets. So, parang yung kanina, no? So, first is we record yung 60,000 na decrease. So, 
uh, yung decrease ng inventory or cosmetics inventory will result to a debit to the old partner's capital account, which is ito, uh, as shown, di ba? At page 3-10. So, it was divided based on their P&L ratio. So, again, just to remind you, parang yung tanong ni Carl kanina, when we are on partnership dissolution, the rule will be the partnership operation rule or yung division of profits and losses. Kapag loss, di ba? Kasi this is considered to be a loss kasi mababawasan yung equity. First is, if there is um, an agreement as to a division of loss. If not, of course, division of profit. Pag walang division of profit, then based on capital balance. Sa capital balance, pag walang sinabi, original, then beginning. Pag wala pa rin at ending yung nandun, yun yung gagamitin natin. Hindi kasi tayo pwedeng manghula. Kapag weighted average naman, of course, it will be, uh, sasabihin din yun sa problem kasi we will compute for the weighted average capital. Okay? So as you can see, it was divided according to their P&L ratio kasi yun yung given na uh, in, in accordance with priority, loss muna pero wala because but we have for profit. Actually, yun na P&L na siya. So yun na yung profit, yun din yung loss. So yun na yung gagamitin natin. So 1 is to 2 is to 1. That's why we derive a ratio of 1, four, one over 4, 2 over 4, and 1 is to 4. So divided among the partners. So Almasan have 15, 34 sa cloth and Palaganas for 15. So, it was debited to their capital account, as, as shown, and the credit to cosmetic inventory to revalue, to revaluate, no? I-revalue natin yung kanyang assets. Then, on the land, which has an increase, so automatically, no? It's a credit to their capital account and also an increase in their existing asset, which is land. So, yan na yung land ngayon. Land, 460 and a credit to the following partner's capital using the PNL ratio pa rin, and the computation was shown below. So after the revaluation, so yung sa book kasi class, hindi niya ginawang table, di ba? Pero mas madali if I were you to make a table para mas madali using your columnar para mas madali sa inyo to compute. Now, uh, Melinda Albasan, Okay, so the, the beginning is 540. Siguro you can just, just check on your own calculator. 540 plus, sorry, minus 15 plus 115. So if you may check, yan po ang uh, lalabas. Actually, ako hindi ako nag-check, no? Pero of course, I believe with the books na tama yan, no? Okay, so if you... Kung sa tingin nyo mali yan, then you can just tell me. Pero ako, uh, I assume it's correct. Uh, okay? Okay, are we clear? Okay, now, next. For, um, actually, the computation is, is shown. Di ba yan, no? Sa baba. For sa cloth, it's 630. And for palaganas, it's 310. Okay? So, uh, that's the... Adjusted contributed capital, gaya ng ginawa natin sa problem number 3. Now, case 1, withdrawal at book value. So when we say book value, yan yung value niya at the date of retirement. Okay, so um, assume that Remedios Palaganas agreed to accept payment equal to her interest. Okay, so ibabalik lang natin, no? Kasi si Palaganas yung nag-retire or nag-withdraw. So, a debit to Remedius Palaganas capital of 310 and a credit to cash. Kasi yan lang yung binayaran sa kanya. No loss or gain. Okay, now. Next. Withdrawal at more than book value. So, dito, uh, sa withdrawal, Ginagamitan din natin ito ng bonus method. The question there is, sino ang may bonus? May bonus yung retiring partner o ang may bonus yung matitirang partners or the remaining partners? So, depende. Kapag ang kinuha or uh, binayad dun sa retiring partner is less than, mas mababa dun sa kanyang equity, then the old partners will be having a bonus. ba? sila yung may bonus. Pero kung mas mataas sa equity niya, 
Ibig sabihin, yung retiring partner has a bonus which has, shall be borne by the remaining partners. Ganun din yung isa kanina. Kapag all partners or the remaining partners will be having the bonus, ang mag-borne or mag shoulder man will be the retiring partner. Okay. Withdrawal at more than book value. Assume that Remedius Palaganes demanded a 400,000 settlement for his interest. Kaya lang, di ba, ang kanyang interest is only 310,000. Meaning to say, it is more than the book value. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, and of course, again, ha, this should be agreed. Take note that this is a partnership. So, all should be agreed upon. Lahat ng magiging Ang gagawin nila within the partnership should be agreed upon. So now, there will be a bonus or a, a, a gain on the part of the retiring partner, which is palaganas, no? Ng 90,000. Okay, 90,000. And how are we going to divide it? Okay, of course, using again the PNL ratio. Okay, so using the PNL ratio, Pero class again ito, kapag may agreed, yung agreed. So wala namang agreed, no? The remaining partners, ito lang ang sabi, the remaining agreed, the remaining partners agreed for old time sake. Doon lang sa demand. Pero as to how do they uh, divide the bonus, walang nakalagay. So again, we we will be using the PNL ratio. Okay, so ang PNL ratio natin is 1 is to 2 is to 1. So 1 for Almasan and 2 for Saklot. So parang 1 is to 2. So we have to derive a formula, again, a fraction of 1 over 3 and 2 over 3. That's why we have 30,000 for Almasan and 60,000 will be borne by Saklot for a total of 90,000. So the entry is just to close, no? Tatanggalin na natin si Remedis Palaganas. Iko-close na natin yung buong capital account niya kasi aalis na siya for partnership or she will be um, retiring. So it's a debit to Almazan, 30,000, sa clot for 60,000 at Palaganas of 310,000. Then a credit to cash for 400,000. Pag-withdrawal naman, less than book value. So baliktad naman. Ang magkakaroon ng bonus this time is yung remaining partners. So this time, assume that Remedius Palaganas is very eager to retire and is willing to accept settlement at 280000 When Palaganas, the retiring partner, receive a settlement, an amount less than her capital balance in effect, the partner is giving a part of her equity interest to the continuing partners as a bonus. So sinabi lang ng problem, no? But as you can see, 310 minus 280, so there will be a 30,000 bonus to the remaining partners. And again, it will be divided according to agreement or in the absence of agreement, PNL ratio. So we have 1 is to 2 again. So 30,000 times 1 over 3 for 10,000 and 2 over 3 times 30,000 is 20,000 for Almazan and Saklot respectively. So, uh, we just have to close yung account or capital account ni Palaganas. So, it's a debit of 310,000 for Palaganas Capital. A credit of cash, kasi yun yung ibabayad natin sa kanya na 280,000. And of course, the remaining one should be credited to the remaining capital's account. Okay? So, for the death of partner, it will be just the same. Okay, so I'll give you a moment to uh, absorb what you have heard. Actually, pareho lang din naman siya with our problem number three. Okay, can I have a smile if you understand what we have discussed when, when, when in terms for withdrawal or retirement before I proceed with the incorporation of a partnership? Yon, my heart. Okay. I love the heart. Okay. Yung iba, baka natutulog na kayo, ha? Okay. So, it's okay. Anyway, you can, because I will upload this to uh, YouTube, no? You can uh, browse it. Right after this one, I'm going to upload it. Okay? Na-upload ko na po yung part one na ginawa natin kanina in part two. So, bago ko lang siya i-upload sa classroom, I have to finish this part three. Okay. Now, so we have, uh, what do you prefer? Problem muna before incorporation? No, discuss ko na si incorporation bago tayo mag-problem. 
problem mo na application. Wala naman ako wala namang sumagot sa akin, di ba? So ako na lang ang masunod. Okay, so let's continue. With problem 10. Ayun, sige. Let's move on problem 10. Okay. On page 3-29. Okay, there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 scenarios, no? For um, admission by purchase of interest or investment of assets. So, wala pa rin pala akong sample for retirement. But anyway, it's just the same. Tingnan ko mamaya if I can make another example for um, withdrawals. No? Should be problem uh, 20 at least. Okay, sige. Let's start problem 10. Okay, problem 10. Admission by purchase of interest or investments of assets. Then after this, we will solve problem 11 kahit wala akong preparations. No? Okay, Dolores Aguilar is sold. Dolores Aguilar is sold. This is Trina and Beth Digalbal are partners in Cavite Realty, Realty Company. Their capital balances as of July 31, 2019 are as follows. So Aguilar with a credit balance of 450. Sustrina for a balance with a credit balance of 150, Bigal Bal Capital with a credit balance of 300,000. Each partner has agreed to admit Nelia Pascual to the partnership. Then, the requirement is for us to prepare entries to record Pascual's admission or to Aguilar's withdrawal from the partnership under each of the following conditions. So, letter A. Pascual paid 125,000 for 20% of Aguilar's interest in the partnership. So this is just admission, no? By purchase of interest. Okay? So it's just a mere transfer of capital balance from the seller to the buyer. Okay. For Aguilar, it's 450 thousand ang kanyang equity at binili daw ni no ni Pascual yung capital account niya for 125,000 which is 20%. So all we need to do is 450 450 times 0.20%. So that's it. It's a debit to Aguilar Capital 90,000 and a credit to Pascual Capital 90,000. Okay, so gaya ng question ni Mary Jane kanina, no, dun sa unang discussion natin. So hindi natin i-record yung gain niya because that is a personal gain for Aguilar. Okay, I hope uh, I, I made it clear. Next, letter B, you can react if you want. Okay, letter B, Pascual invested 200000 in the partnership and received an interest equal to her investment. So this is just an investment, no? So all you need to do is to record. Wala namang maapektuhan sa capital account ng mga remaining partners or old partners. So all we need to do is to debit a 200 cash and according to the problem, yan din daw yung um, interest, no? capital interest na magigain niya for investing 200,000. So that's it. We're done. Di ba? Ganun lang siya kasimple. Now, let's move on letter C. For letter C, Pascual invested cash in the partnership for a 20% interest in the business. A bonus is to be recorded for the original partners on the basis of their capital balances. So it says here capital balances. Okay, so ano na nga yung process natin? First is we have to fill up the contributed capital. For Aguilar, it's 450,000. For Sustrina, it's 150,000. And 300,000 for Bigal Bal. For a total of 900,000. Then under the contributed capital, diba, it's plus the actual investment of the new partner, which is 300,000. Okay? For a total of 1.2 million. Okay. That's 1.2 million. Ang sabi dito, the new partner, ito, kaya nilagay ko to dito, the new partner will receive a 20% interest, which means the old partners will be receiving 
percent. So actually, I have my formula here. 1.2 million times 20 percent. That is 240 thousand. So meaning to say, dapat ang sa old partners would be it should be 960,000. Okay, so let's uh, try to compute. If you're going to, the next thing that you need to do is to look for the difference, no? Doon sa contributed capital and agreed capital of the uh, new partner, which is, this will be have a negative 60, no? Ibig sabihin, less than 60,000. This bonus will be given to the old partners sabi niya dyan. a bonus is to be recorded for the original partners on the basis of their capital balances so ito siya oh 450 150 and 300 so this one is the capital interest capital interest of the old partners so deriving a formula so we can compute for a bonus 60000 times 450 over 900 60000 times 150 over 900 and last will be i'm sorry 60000 times 300 over 900 i'll just check here okay it should be divided so that's it the bonus will be 30000 10000 for sistrina and 60000 for sorry mali ito and 20,000 for Bigalbal. Okay, for a total of 60. Okay, now, the agreed capital after the bonus will be and 480 for Aguilar, Sistrina 160, 320 for Bigalbal for a total of 960 plus the new Partners for a total of 1.2 million. Okay, to so record the transaction. Okay. So, malitong ginawa ko dito. It should be kulang dito. Okay, now, cash. Magkaning cash? 300,000. Pascual Capital. 300,000. Then, Let's have a debit to Pascual. Shortcut kasi yung ginawa ko. But wag, wag shortcut class ha. Kasi para makita natin yung admission niya. Okay? So this is uh, 60,000, 30,000, 10,000, and 20,000. Okay, next. Letter D. Okay, for letter D. Okay, let's start with letter D. Pascual invested 300,000 cash in partnership for 40% interest in the business. The original partners gave Pascual a bonus according to the ratio of their capital balances again. Okay, so it's just the same. Ang naiba lang yung 40% interest. So ganun pa rin po ang gagawin natin. So this is 450. This is 150, this is 300 for a total of 900,000. Okay, and then next, Pascual is 300,000 for a total of 1.2 million. So again, 1.2 million, there is a bonus, no? Bonus method. So bonus method, again, contributed capital will be equals to agreed capital. So this is 1.2. Let's get the, let's compute for the interest of Pascual using this uh, ratio 40% for old, uh, for new, and 60% for old. So 1.2, ito 1.2 times 40%, that's 480. And the capital of the old partner should be 720, no? Now let's compare. They are, let's get the difference, contributed minus average capital. So there will be a bonus of 480,000 to 
new partner. So there will be a deduction dito. And how are we going to compute for the deduction? Okay, so let's derive the formula again using the capital interest. So 450 over 900 times negative 180,000. Okay, because it's a deduction, right? Okay, next. Okay, so Strina, it's 150 over 900 times negative 180,000. And next, 300 over 900 times negative 180,000. Then that's it. Then the agreed capital after the admission will be 540 for Aguilar. 180 versus 39364. Bakit sobra. Okay, this should be addition. Okay, yung rule of integer lang. Okay. Okay, that's the rule of integer. Minus, minus. Minus my minus the negative it become positive. So we you know addition. Okay, so that's it to present it. No, okay. Next, ito, may letter E, may withdrawal. I sorry, entry. Entry will be for 300,000. 300,000. And then Aguilar Capital for 90,000, 30,000, and I mean, 60,000 for a total of 180,000. Okay. Letter E. Aguilar withdrew, withdrew from the partnership taking 525,000. The excess of withdrawn assets over Aguilar's partnership interest is distributed again according to the balance of capital accounts. So, ang, ang withdrawal niya is 525. Ang interest niya is how much? 450. Si Aguilar. So there will be a difference of 75,000. And that 75,000, okay, let's compute it, no? It will a bonus to the retiring partner. So we have to compute it this way. So we have 150 over 450 times 75. And also uh, 300 over 450 times 75. Okay, I'll just have to put it here, 150 and 300. Okay, then let's have it here. Negative 25 and negative 50,000. So, adjusted capital will be this one. So, how are we going to um, journalize? Of course, a debit to Aguilar Capital of 450,000. So, string of 25,000. 50,000 for Bigalbal. And a cash for 525,000. Okay. Last but not the least, no? Aguilar withdrew by selling her interest directly to Pascual. Okay. Kay Aguilar lang, yung ko. So all you need to do is to record it. Just laas. Yan. Ganyan lang din siya. I-record mo lang siya ng ganyan. Kasi nga, uh, yung, yung 150 na yun, it's a personal gain or loss ni um, pangalan nito? Aguilar. Okay? So that's it. It has been discussed. I'm running out of time. Okay. So, sasagarin natin yung 10 minutes, no? Okay. For the incorporation of new partners, class, ito yung discuss natin yung corporation, no? But for the, the purpose of discussing uh, it here, pag incorporate natin, class, ang gagawin lang natin, yung buong capital account, Okay, as you can see here on the illustration on problem 3-12, merong capital account na 140 and 120. Okay? Pero, uh, bago tayo mag-incorporate, ang gagawin natin, we have to adjust everything. Katulad nito, may agreement sila to adjust um, 
provide allowance for doubtful accounts, accounts or statement of inventory to its current value, and additional the recognition of depreciation on equipment. So, binag uh, nagkaroon tayo ng um, revaluation ng asset. So, i-revalue muna natin. So, ang nangyari dyan, uh, yung supposed to be 260,000, no? 260,000. Ang nangyari dun sa 260,000, nagkaroon ng allowance for doubtful account. So, anong nangyari? It's a minus to capital account. Tama? And then, yung inventory daw from 140, it became 160. So, it's an additional 20,000. Okay? So, I hope you could still follow. Diba? Then, next. Then, next is yung nagkaroon ng additional depreciation. It's an adjustment to uh, capital account. A minus 2 capital account na 3,000 to 267,000 ang capital account. Now, ang sabi dito sa problem, the corporation's uh, share capital will have a par value of 100. And the whole equity, no, yung whole equity account ay gagamitin ordinary shares or i-convert natin sa shares. Ngayon, class, ang trick lang dito sa, incorporate, uh, sa, sa corporation, yung capital account Possible kasi hindi yun yung, uh, ito sinabi niya na the, the whole 267,000, ang par value nun is, ang par value nun is 100. So meaning to say, if you divide it by 100, ang shares na meron tayo upon incorporation ng partnership is 2,670 kasi 267 divided by 100 par value. Kaya lang may mga instances na um, bibigay yung number of shares. Halimbawa, ito, ang sinabi lang ng problem, um, 2,000 shares. Halimbawa lang, no? 2,000 shares and the par value is 100. Magkano yun? 2,000 times 100. That's 200,000. So, yan lang yung i-credit natin sa ordinary share. Eh, ma'am, ano pong gagawin sa 67,000? Yun naman ang i-credit natin sa share premium no i will thoroughly discuss it pag nasa corporation na tayo so sa corporation yun yung ginagamit nating capital account so alam na natin sa sole partnership pareho lang no capital account pero pagdating na dito wala nang mga pangalan lahat yan ordinary share lahat yan preferred share may preference share pang tinatawag at lahat yan share premium for you to understand it well i want to be uh, move on problem 23 page 3-41. Okay. The condensed statement of financial position of the partnership of Gwenaflor and Gangoso as of December 31 showed the following. So may asset down na 200, may liabilities na 40, may capital na total na 160. 80-80 sila pareho. On this date, the partnership was dissolved and its net asset is transferred to a newly formed corporation. The fair value of assets was 24,000 more than the carrying amount of the value of value on the firm's books. So ibig sabihin, if you have your calculator with you, 200,000 plus 24,000. Okay, ilgawin ko na sa Excel, no? Dito. Okay. Ibig sabihin, this one will be 200,000 Plus 24,000, yan na ngayon yung inyong assets. And still, your liabilities will be... Okay, lagay ko na nga dito ha. So, ito na yung asset natin. 224,000. Your liabilities will be still 40,000. Okay, so malinaw na yan. No? Now, next. Each partner was issued 10,000 shares of the corporation's one par, par ordinary shares. Okay. Pag sinabing issue, ibig sabihin nun, in-issue in in pa lang natin. Okay. So, how are we going to do that? Or what? Okay, now, ano mangyayari dyan? Yung 
Magkano ba yung capital balance natin as of this time? Magkano na yung capital balance? I-minus ko lang, ha? Using Excel. Dito na ako magka-calculator. 2, 2, 4. Minus 40,000. Okay. So, so that's 184,000. Pero, okay. Pero ang share premium lang nila is based on their capital account. Magkano ba yung capital account nila? Ang sabi nila, ang sabi din sa problem, ang ibinigay lang daw ay ulitin natin 10,000 of 10,000 shares of the corporations, one par ordinary share. So, meron lang daw silang ano, 10,000 times 1. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, each partner. So, dalawa yung partner natin. Uh, Buena Flor and Gangoso. So, ibig sabihin, each one of them got 10,000 shares. 10,000 shares din siya. At 1 peso. Oh, ayaw mo. Okay, at 1 peso ang par value, piso, no? So, pag minultiply ko to sa piso, ibig sabihin, yan din lang din yung value ng ordinary shares, di ba? Total lang naman natin yan. So, that's 20,000. Now, ma'am, ano pong gagawin dun sa excess? Okay, the excess is, malaki yung excess class. Minus 20. So, 164,000 yung excess. And that is considered to be a share premium. Kasi yung 10,000 lang yung na-issue. Ma'am, ano pong effect ng share premium at ordinary share? So, yan ay i-discuss ko on chapter 5. Pagka nasa corporations. Cor corporation na tayo. Okay? So sa ngayon, ang intindihin nyo lang kung paano nyo siya i-convert 